Hello, in this uh, first video of series uh, of two, we will demonstrate executable SysML model of transmission. And uh, uh, here we can see the system structure. It consists of, contains uh, gearbox, uh, transmission control unit, differential, dry shaft. And we will concentrate basically on transmission control unit, which has here many parameters. And for sure, first of all, it has the uh, behavior which describes uh, how it behaves. So here we see this is in state uh, described in state machine. So we have uh, parking, reverse, neutral states, and driving state, which has gears first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. A transition from one gear to another is performed on change event. Uh, we see that uh, when uh, RPM is changed. Uh, we switch for, to the next gear when it is more than 2,500. Also, the RPM here is, is increased here. And uh, there are um, uh, other uh, things which performed on entry uh, uh, behaviors. Uh, and those uh, 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 can be created in states uh, when we are using opaque behavior. We see here that opaque behavior is uh, selected as the entry behavior type and then we can type basically whatever code we want here and then um, choose the code uh, language by default is uh, javascript if we don't change so basically this uh, updates the parameters those we have in the transmission control unit and uh, also triggers the switch between states so now we could execute and see how the system behaves and we will execute uh, with the context. We will run a state machine with the context in order that st state machine will have access to those uh, value properties, right? So we started and now we can switch to next uh, um, state, reverse. Now we can switch to neutral and we always see those parameters, how they uh, update update now we can switch to the drive and uh, driving starts and rpm increases uh, here we can see it track the rpm and we see once it is uh, reach uh, reach the 2500 uh, uh, limit uh, the gear will change 2500 so gear change right so we can track those properties also in time series chart uh, here we see and uh, you can see there's more properties to to to, to uh, those are changed so the change those properties are uh, affected by parametric uh, diagram which exists here and the parametric diagram is used to to calculate car speed uh, car speed is calculated based on the rpm of, of the engine and here are those four expressions which connects to the characteristics uh, of the system represented as well as properties and you see that the uh, transmission uh, control unit has this parametric diagram which uh, describes this uh, network of con uh, expressions and calculates the car speed so we can track the car speed also and do some analysis for example the optimization of uh, of gears uh, change or ratio next we have uh, a requirement which uh, satis uh, is satisfied by this property rpm and this requirement says that rpm value shall not exceed 3900 so this uh, based on this satisfy relation we will get this green or red and you see that this requirement is satisfied dependent on the uh, on the constraint so uh, here we see the formalization of requirement basically we say that uh, this constraint block uh, uh, formalize this expression but even without that uh, we can delete it and even without that we will get this uh, constraint available because we have uh, um, um, natural language analysis engine which runs and checks simple expression text patterns for example not exceed so it will be converted to as we can see this such constraint rpm uh, uh, less than 3,900. If we want, we can extract constraint from here. So extract constraint block requirements from requirement and see this got extracted, right? 
but this engine uh, allows to, uh, to natural language control uh, uh, parsing engine allows to update this uh, glossary and we can create our own glossary and to use uh, to formalize requirements and to increase quality of the requirements. So um, yeah, next what we have here, we have user interface uh, uh, mockup and this is using user interface uh, uh, user interface uh, uh, modeling uh, diagram and here we see the frame and then buttons and then labels and then uh, this one is the text field here we can see such a text field right and uh, those are associated with the uh, parameters and the models uh, from the uh, from our system model right uh, blocks from our system model. So, for example, if we will take um, transmission, uh, here we see gear. So, uh, we associated this uh, property with the gear value property. This uh, label with the gear. So, we drag and drop. So, for how that was performed, we create label and we drag, uh, drag uh, gear value property. Now it will represent gear. So, we can like put it here, right? And we can copy style in order to have it same style copy and then paste style and uh, so 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 the the buttons are actually created by drag and drop so for example drive we can create another drive button here by dragging it here now i will increase this button again i will copy style in order to have same size and uh, once we will um, next what we have here we have here configuration and uh, uh, this configuration basically says that simulation configuration we can execute as you saw the model without any configuration but if we want to specify what will be the user interface of our model what will be executed and uh, what uh, are initial characteristics of the execution uh, we uh, might create the simulation configuration might want to create simulation configuration which basically gives us all this control and there can be many simulation configurations uh, uh, config uh, two, and you see once I create some configuration, it uh, immediately appears in this execution uh, dropdown. We can run uh, this configuration from here and get execution and results of that execution. So it could be different, uh, different initial parameters, different user interfaces, different system parts executed for testing, for visual animation, for the silent and not silent modes, and so on. And here also we see image change. So this image changer uh, switcher uh, uh, element allows us to specify on what element active, what image to, uh, to show. And here we see those uh, four images, which will be uh, displayed uh, based on the different elements. Arcing. Once in parking, we will show this image. Once in, uh, in reverse, we will show this image. And you see that on click, we will send some signals also associated with the some specific signals. So we can even click on those images. So we can, instead of using user interface diagram, we can use image uh, switcher and uh, have graphical uh, animation and uh, graphical controls. So now we will stop and we will execute uh, 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 simulation uh, and, uh, uh, from the configuration which will start also user interface okay run and here we see this user interface available and you see that uh, based on our change of the user interface we see the gear here uh, it's represented twice also the drive is represented uh, twice and now we can control model from this user interface so we switch to reverse we switch to neutral we switch to drive and now we are driving now we can uh, speed up a little bit we can uh, stop and uh, switch to the next gear 2005 uh, maybe 400 uh, run we will switch to the to the next gear then we will switch one more time one more time and uh, uh, again stop increase one more time 
So we see that we reached this fourth gear and if the RPM increases, we will go to fifth gear and this will uh, decrease the RPM. And basically if this RPM uh, lower than 4,000, we will switch back to fourth gear. So we will never switch, uh, reach the limit of the RPM, which is uh, uh, described by this requirement. But uh, in case we, we would not have this transition, so RPM would increase, right? And uh, we will reach this uh, this uh, limit uh, of uh, of this uh, of RPM, and uh, this will uh, affect uh, uh, the requirement, uh, uh, which says that it can't be reached, and basically the requirement will will not be satisfied. And we can stop, and we will increase, like for to, for example, three. Hundred in order to speed up game, okay. and you see once we will reach this limit, this will become red also. So even in user interface, we see that the validation is performed, and also we see what requirement is not satisfied. So this is the first part of the from the series, and the second part. Uh, uh, will uh, describe uh, how the executable SML model of the transmission can be used to control a Lego a gearbox. Uh, we will connect a linear four speed gearbox, uh, uh, which uh, is created with the uh, Mindstorms uh, NXT. And we will see that the model may be a little bit modified in order to con control actual uh, uh, system will run and will change the gears. See you soon.